how to enjoy being alone. I finally cracked the code and here are my learnings. If you are going through some big life changes recently or you move cities, you've been feeling lonely, you've left some people behind, then this video is for you. For the past few years, I've spent a lot of time by myself. I've moved countries, I've been through relationship and friendship breakups, I've been really lonely, I've been really learning how to be with myself and enjoy the process. It's finally feeling like I'm coming out the other side happier and healthier and here are five ways on how I enjoy being alone and how I approach them. The first one is fulfilling your bucket list. This is your opportunity to bring out that bucket list from when you were a kid or from now. Write down 10 things let's say that you want to do for the next 10 weeks. At the end of each week you want to schedule some time to do each one of those things that you want to try but you've been too busy to or you just haven't found the right person to try it with. This is your opportunity to go and do those things by yourself and it may seem scary but you can start really small. The last thing that I did from my bucket list was horse riding which was a month ago. I have always wanted to ride a horse by myself and I just went and I did that and it was so empowering. I'd love to encourage you to lean into that. Try something new. It can be as simple as taking a walk at the waterfront, trying out a new restaurant that you've always wanted to but didn't have anyone to go with. We wait so much for finding the right people or a group of friends to do things with. Life is just passing us by. You don't need to wait for anyone to do things. You can just do them right now. This really helps me because it makes me feel like I can do anything by myself and the fact that I'm not waiting for anything or in the right people or the right circumstances before I'm able to do the things that I really want to. The second one is educating yourself. This one is so powerful. Every time I feel like I'm going through major life changes, the continuous pursuit of education has been my anchor. This will really elevate your life so much. Every time I'm bored or don't have anyone to hang out with, I'm busy doing a new course, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm reading a new book. Even right now I'm reading this book called The Artist's Way which helps you get back to consistency in your creative journey. Me recording this video is an action in that direction. It can be so easy, there's so much free knowledge out there in the world. Almost everything that I've learned about filming or even creating is through studying people and listening to their stories. Immerse yourself in education and growing yourself. There is so much power and you feel so much more confident each time you take a step in that direction. The third one is journaling for mindfulness. Journaling can look different for different people. My experience with it has changed since I was a teenager to now. What it looks like right now for this year, one thing I'm prioritizing is gratitude. Let me show you my gratitude journal. So this is my gratitude journal. It literally says, appreciate your blessings every day. It has such simple prompts that I read and write every morning. Let me read one out to you. There is a morning page and an evening page. It literally says, today I will try to. Dot, dot, dot. So open-ended. My daily nature fix will be, it usually is a walk. Walks are also very underrated. I will take time to focus on, this is where you set out your priorities for the day and set your positive intention. That's the last one. This is such a good one because it almost helps you plan out how you're going to think about the rest of your day. And journaling is so helpful because it also, have you heard that quote which says 99% of a problem is solved once you write it down on a piece of paper and I couldn't agree more. Try it out for a week and you'll realize how much lighter you feel. Now the fourth one is giving back. Serving your community and contributing to the place and the city that you live in will add so much joy into your life. I started Kids Art Circle, an organization where I teach kids art every weekend at the local libraries about three years ago. And that initiative has transformed my life. Not only has it made me so much more confident to show up in a room full of 15 kids and teach and share my offerings. It has also given me so much joy in seeing how much value I'm adding to people's life. Figure out what added value to you when you were a child or what is adding value to your life right now or if you have any skills and find a way where you can share those with others. I had the best art teachers growing up 
and that has really transformed my life. In fact, a big part of my career right now is being creative. It has motivated me to do the same for the next generation that is to come. And find something in your life that you feel like you would love to do and a skill that you would love to share with others and really lean into it. You don't have to start a company, you can just start simply by helping your neighbor's kids. That's how I started. For the past three years I've been doing this and it has brought so much connection and community into my life. This brings me to the fifth one which is sharing compliments and smiles with strangers. Now this one is a slightly different one. I really enjoy this because it is so simple. Smiling at someone is such a simple act of connecting with someone that you may have never crossed paths with during this life. And complimenting people as well. How often do we think about a nice jacket that someone's wearing or someone who has a lovely smile or someone who's so good at what they do in a customer service job. Find those moments in your life where you feel like that and express it. You will realize that when you compliment someone, it will add so much happiness to you just seeing them happy. This also ties into the giving back point. We think that helping others or sharing appreciation towards others is a way to make them feel good but we forget that it actually makes ourselves feel so good. Even having worked in customer service, every time I've been at my job and someone's like smiled at me or just had a human conversation with me, said that my energy was really good, it has really made me get through the day a little bit easier. Even just today I decided I wanted to film this video and I literally got myself a mic two hours ago and the lady at the counter was so lovely and so knowledgeable and helped me understand so much about the right mic for myself and I thanked her and shared that I really appreciated all of her knowledge and I was just like wow you are so knowledgeable at this and I instantly had, like, could see the shift in her energy from this is my job to this person really like this person has seen me in this moment. Yeah give it a go I feel like you can make unexpected connections and friendships by doing this. And my last one kind of summarizes all of them, which is date yourself. Life is so short to wait for the right people, for the right circumstances, for the right environment to do the things that you want to do. So much of my experience with feeling alone is that I didn't feel like I could do a lot of these things I wanted to do by myself because society hasn't normalized doing things by yourself. And I feel like that's changing now. And you watching this video is also a step in that direction because you're seeking something that's a bit different than what we're used to seeing. Being intentional with your day-to-day -day energy is so helpful and crucial to living a peaceful life. Often we are in rooms of people where we really feel so alone even when we're surrounded by so many people. I've had moments where I felt like I've had to keep my guard really up. So. Now that I'm more intentional with who I share my energy with and who I connect with and how I spend my time outside of my work, it has really helped me prioritize myself and my needs and what are the way that I want to design my life instead of the way that we've been taught we're supposed to live. So yeah, I would encourage you to take what you feel like you can from this video but design your own way of what happiness and being by yourself could look like for you. Lastly, I wanted to share with you and say that we often only see the highlight reels of people's life where they're always with people, they are connected and they have a community. But there are a lot of us who are also on the journey of finding their community and their people and designing the life that they want to live. And you have a lot of people with you who are also trying to figure it out, be included. So just want to say that if anything in this video resonated with you I'd love for you to leave a comment and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime you got this and I'm sending so much love your way.